。好，我到第十一條啦，就問返下面邊一句嘅描述呢，就係、是、正確嘅。咁而家啦，咁啊睇呢幅圖提返大家嘅啫，有個地震，錯咗座山，跟住將呢個 area 呢斬開咗做兩邊 area one 同埋 area two， 跟住隔咗幾百萬年之後呢，就有個 species Q 新嘅物種出現咗。Option A 就話啦 ，Q 呢相比阿 P 呢，佢嘅適應能力呢係高一啲嘅。咁其實呢個係錯嘅。咁其實一隻生物能唔能夠適應到佢嘅生境呢？其實真係好取決於佢住邊度嘅啫。咁如果你要比較一條魚同埋一個人嘅話啦，咁其實嗰條魚啊，咁梗係好適應喺個水。入面生活啦，係咪？咁你話人識唔識游水？人都識游水，但係人唔可以喺水底下生活啊嘛。如果冇儀器嘅輔助底下，所以啦，你會話：，誒條魚咪勁過你咯，梁 Sir。但係反翻轉頭啦，邊個係能夠喺陸地上生存得好啲啊？咁梗係我哋啦。你就係將條魚嚇搬上陸地，但係又冇啲咩魚缸啊養住佢，佢就死咗好耐啦，係咪？咁所以 A 咧就錯嘅。跟住 Option B 啦，就話 Species P 咧就喺 Area One 同 Two 咧。都能夠生存得咁好嘅，咁其實呢一句呢，就錯嘅，因為始終啦，我哋喺 Area Two 呢，咁真係冇 P 出現過嘛，佢淨係得阿 Q 啫嘛，係咪？咁所以其實亦都暗示咗呢 a r e a Two 呢，其實都唔係咁適合 Species P 去生存嘅。咁所以啦，因為如果呢句説話真係啱嘅話呢嗰成百幾萬年啊，我就唔信啊，點樣都會冇一棵阿 P 響樹，但係點知真係一棵都冇。咁如咁啦，我將一棵阿 P 呢移植過去啊。其實佢都唔一定生存得好好嘅，而個關鍵呢，其實就係 C 嗰一句。其實 B 同 C 呢，係互相聯繫嘅。Area one and two 係咪有一個相似嘅環境情況呢？其實喺座山嘅兩面呢，佢哋嗰個環境情況係可以好唔同嘅，由個光度、風速、降雨同埋濕度，少少地理上面嘅概念啦。咁我當啦，呢邊係個太陽啦。咁其實啦，喺 Area Two 呢邊咧，應該容易曬到太陽嘅，長時間會曬到太陽嘅。但 Area P 呢，就要等個太陽走走走走走走到嚟呢度呢，佢哋先有機會曬到太陽嘅。咁同樣情況啦，如果有風去吹嘅話呢，其實座山呢應該已經係擋住曬啲風。咁所以啦，最基本呢，日照嘅時間長度啊，同埋個風速啊，兩邊呢應該係非常之唔同嘅情況。所以頭先就話啦，就當我將其中一棵 Species P 掉過去 Area Two 去生存嘅話呢。其實佢都唔一定生存得到啊，咁所以啦 B 同 C 咧都係錯，咁唯獨呢就係 D 啦，咁啊 P 同 Q 呢，佢哋係屬於同一個嘅 family 嘅，咁呢個啱嘅，咁啊因為嗱基於 evolution 演化嘅概念呢 p 同 Q 呢，佢哋應該係有一個共同嘅祖先嘅，所以 P 同 Q 就自不然呢，係喺同一個嘅 family 入面啦。Question eleven is asking which of the following description of the above incident is most likely to be correct? So actually, what is the incident? Is that there was an earthquake to make a high mountain and then separate the species P into two small groups and then millions of years later, so there is a new species Q to be formed. So option A, Q is more adaptive than P, which is a wrong statement. Because whether they adapt the living habitat, it really depends on where do they live. It's just like that we compare a fish and a human being. Which organism can adapt well in the aquatic habitat? Of course, it should be the fish. So in this situation, we can say that the fish is more adaptive than the human being. But actually, this statement is not really 100% true, because once I put the fish on the ground, so of course the fish cannot survive on the ground. And then for option B, P grows equally well in areas one and two, so it's also wrong. Because we can see that in area two, there is only species Q and no species P here. So it implies that area two may not be that favorable for species P to survive and reproduce. So if this statement were true, there would be species P in area two as well. So you may ask that, oh, Mr. Leung, can I move one individual of species P to the area two and then let's see whether they can live well or not. So actually, Option B is related to option C. Area one and two have similar environmental condition. Actually, the environmental condition can be very different on both sides of the mountain. So it is the reason that species P may not be able to survive and reproduce in area two because on both sides of the mountain, the light intensity, wind speed, rainfall, or humidity may be very different. For example, the light intensity. In the past, the whole area can receive the sunlight, but now the sun is here, and then somehow the mountain will block the sunlight. 
So that means we need to wait. For example, in the afternoon, the sun will be here, and then the species P can receive the sunlight. So you can see that the species Q can receive more sunlight than species P. The second example is about the wind speed. So maybe the mountain also broke the wind. So in area 2, it will be very windy, but in area 1, it may not be that windy. So even I put one individual of species P to area 2, they may not be able to survive at all. So that's why B and C are also wrong. So that's why the final answer is D. P and Q belong to the same family in the classification system. Based on the concept of evolution, P and Q are involved from the common ancestor. So that's why they are in the same family.